texting in the beginning can be very dangerous because it creates a false sense of intimacy. Let me first just say I love her voice. It is so soothing. Now, she makes three points in this video. I'm only going to talk about the first one in regards to texting in the beginning ruining the intimacy in the relationship. Now, I actually have a very different opinion here, and I've written an entire book about it. So it's called Online Vetting, and it's about how to delete your dating apps and meet your future spouse using social media. And one of the main points in this book is how important it is to vet the person before you go out on a physical date with them because it's actually more dangerous to meet someone you don't know on a physical date without doing any vetting and so vetting before the first date and I'll link a video that I did talking about 13 ways you can vet before the first date so don't be so skeptical. So before the first date, you need to gather basic information to know that you have some fundamental core values, relationship goals, life vision, lifestyle preferences, personality factors, and temperament aligned because otherwise you're just going to be wasting your sweet time, money, energy, etc. Your life should be so wonderful as it is on your own, even though you want a relationship and that would make it better, but your life should be so great as it is that it would be too much of a cost for you to waste your time getting ready physically and energetically and then spending the time on the date and then dealing with whatever comes after that if it doesn't work out. So don't have scarcity mindset and don't just want to show up on dates because it makes you feel validated or because you're lonely and you want company. You have other people in your life that you can spend time with. That's going to be a better use of your time. So I do agree that you don't want to overdo the texting. Sometimes less is more and you want to pace out your correspondence before in between your dates, but do use the phone, do use phone calls, video calls, text here and there, build the anticipation, get to know people, ask them questions, talk about stuff, because if you leave it all for the date, then you're going to be so in your head. And the whole point of meeting someone on the date is to be comfortable and to be like present. You want to be able to be in the moment, enjoy the moment, not be stuck in your head, let your intuition and those energetics speak for itself, but also don't be swayed by the physical or sexual connection because if you are super attracted to them, meeting in person could cause you to be impulsive before you know some of the basic things. So make sure that you know what your boundaries are. That's very, very important. And I may make another video speaking to her 